my name is Wife Total, and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today we're back here playing some more Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. In the last episode, we made our way through Mount Moon and arrived here in Cerulean City. Now, you may have not noticed, but um, I couldn't really record for a while because I got sick. So this video... Um, my voice may sound a bit different. I just want to—I wanted to clarify that. I'm, I'm practically recovered. I had a huge headache and whatnot. My throat was like destroyed, and uh, it was not fun. But I just wanted to let you guys know um, if my voice does sound a bit different. Anyways, today we're gonna be exploring Cerulean City. Hopefully, we get a gym battle. I am excited for a gym battle. It's going to be a fun time. I'm looking forward having another fun top gym battle it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun i haven't been able to do training with our pokemon because i was really busy this weekend and i didn't really i wasn't really able to make the time at all and i was sick when i um when i came back from um from camping so uh yeah that kind of that kind of happened so, um, I didn't really do any training at all. I was just busy focusing on recovering and, uh, trying to make, trying to, trying to get better. Trying to get better. So, um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is episode 7 of the series. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm having a fair, I'm having a fun time. I'm having a very fun time. It is a blast journeying through Kanto. I was mentioning to you guys that I just mentioned, like, 30 seconds ago that I wasn't able to record at all this weekend because I went camping and after I went camping I got I got a huge I got I got really sick I got like really really sick I'm not I'm gonna go into depth into that so yeah we went camping this weekend it was a pretty fun interesting crazy sort of thing it it was it was um it wasn't the type of camping where you go into a cabin and you just relax, you know, and you sleep there, you have a good time. We actually went camping in a tent, and I must say, it was very, very brutal, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really enjoy it as much, but, you know, it was still fun to get out the house and try something new. Granted, I'm never doing that again, because I, 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 I don't know, it's not for me, it really isn't. But then... At the same time, you kind of look at Pokemon the same way. Like Pokemon, you're going on a journey and you're experiencing new things, you, you sleep in a tent and whatnot. So you kind of look at Pokemon in that same perspective and you're just wondering, huh, if I do go, if I do happen to go on a journey, um, I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to probably sleep in a tent or sleep in a sleeping bag outside. And it does kind of, you know, it does, you do kind of wonder, you know, how it would be like. And I, I must say, again, from, from my experience this weekend, it wasn't really the best. I also gotta say, um, camping with multiple people, sleeping with multiple people in the same tent isn't really the best experience. Especially, because first off, the, um... First off, the tent was very, very hot. And then you got all these people here. All these uh people here in, in this in this one tent and it's just like you you feel you feel too um you feel you feel like really to me personally you feel overheated. Like you feel like you, you can't breathe if if I can like simplify it. And um you know, I I personally didn't like that. I really did not like that. Besides that, everything else about the um, camping trip, it was alright, it was okay, it was a fun time, it was pretty darn interesting, I'm not gonna lie. I really did have a pretty interesting experience with it. The first day, um, it was uh, pretty pretty darn interesting. We, um, we had like a three hour drive, and we went to Delaware, and it was a pretty fun time. Uh, once we arrived at Delaware, all the tents were set up. It was with family, and um, I, back to what I was saying, we arrived. It was a three-hour drive, because right now I'm in PA. You know, I live in PA. And um, we, they, the tents were set up. We all we all were just, like, getting our, th getting our things back in order and, you know, whatnot. Like, making sure we have all our stuff and get all our stuff from bags and whatnot. And, you know, it was a pretty... The first night was pretty interesting, and it was pretty boring at the same time because 
I didn't, I'm like so used to having my computer with me wherever I go and, uh, you know, just playing games and, um, you know, working on edits and whatnot. So it was kind of a, it was kind of strange not to have that for two days. So, um, yeah, that was the first night. Second day was pretty interesting, I'm not gonna lie. We, um, we went, we did some pretty interesting things. We did, we did some pretty darn interesting things. We went to the beach, and I must say, it was the worst experience ever. Now, you're, you're all probably wondering, why is it the worst experience ever? You went to the beach, you had a fun time. Well, um, here, here's what I'm gonna say. The, uh, the beach wasn't the best. It really wasn't. Like, the water wasn't great. The water was really, really, really dirty. Really salty as well. Now, you're all probably wondering, well, Aqua, you're not gonna get those five-star Florida beaches. Those, those five-star Hollywood beaches. Well, hey, I'm not really asking for that, but, like, the water was so down, downright dirty that you really couldn't see the bottom. Like, you, you start walking from the sand and you take like five steps in you can't see your feet anymore like that's how bad it was personally to me so um yeah that, that really sucks like, i'm not gonna lie um so we we went to the beach it was a pretty interesting experience and um we me and my cousin we were doing some fun stuff we were just you know chilling having a good old time um i we did we did a couple of moves in in the water we had some fun there i choke slammed my cousin into the water you know like the big show and or like undertaker or you know like any wwe wrestler and um uh we you know occasionally we did some pretty interesting stuff we also, I also buried him in the sand, and I remember doing that, that was a pretty interesting time. There was this one in particular, there was, there was this like bug, this really annoying bug that was just like going after us while I was burying my cousin in the sand, and it was, uh, it was, he was pretty annoying, he really was. And, um, I must say, again, that, granted, he, it was it was a it was a it was a pretty decent time again granted the water was terrible but hey hey you, you know everything's not perfect everything isn't perfect so yeah we went to the beach yeah and after that we went back to the uh campsite and uh we pretty much just chilled me and my my cousin we just played with a ball that we had we were we were pretty bored we were talking about you know how it's just weird that we were we leave the um comfort of our houses to do something we normally wouldn't do and we, we were just having a fun time talking about that and we, we, me and him both mentioned that like when we get back we're gonna just jump on the grind and do what we normally do but we do we did like enjoy being away from what we're used to so you know again it was a pretty fun time considering that i stepped away from my comfort zone but the the trip itself yeah it was pretty bad i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i am definitely not gonna lie look i love being honest with you all because i don't want to say it was the best experience ever it, it really wasn't it was really really it was really good in certain areas and bad in certain areas it just depends on the person. Again, if I had my Pokemon friends with me, maybe it would be a fun time. You never know. If Pokemon were real, I would definitely say, yeah, I can go on a journey. I can tolerate it. I don't like sleeping in the out in, in the outdoors. I, I prefer sleeping in a nice, cozy Pokemon center. You know what I mean? I would really love doing that. But hey, hey, if I if I do happen to go on a Pokemon journey in the future. And I have to sleep outdoors. Hey, I'll, I'll do it. As long as I have my Pokemon friends with me, you know? I will do it. So, um, yeah. Remember, um, the, the sleeping experience wasn't fun at all. It really wasn't. I, I must say, it was pretty terrible. Again, there were like four or five people crammed into one of, one of three... Sorry, one of four tents. And, um, it really wasn't the best. The tent that I was sleeping in had four people in there, and again, it was really hot. It was really, really hot. 
The second night in particular was the most annoying because it took me about two and a half hours to fall asleep and I was just struggling, struggling to fall asleep. And then not even that, it was raining as well, so like the rain was keeping me up and that really, really, really made me groggy the next day. So that wasn't fun at all. I am totally not lying to you all. But again, it was an interesting experience. It's nice to experience something new every once in a while. It really is. And I'm just looking forward to whatever whatever happens next on this uh, mysterious summer vacation. You know, but it looks like we made it here to Misty. So let's go on over and talk to her. Hi, you're in your face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What's your approach? Well, I like using Pokemon that I feel like I'll have a special bond with, you know? My policy for battle is... All-out offensive water-type Pokemon. Misty, the world's famous beauty, is your host. My sweet Pokemon are ready. Are you? Yep, I'm ready as well. Speaking of Misty, I was actually watching the Pokemon anime yesterday while I was sick. And, um, I remember- I was watching the, uh, World Islands episode, I just happened to put it on. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pick a random episode. And I happened to pick the World I the World Island episode, and I was just watching some of the battles in the World Islands. It was Ash versus this trainer who had a Kingdra, and it was a pretty interesting fight. It was a really interesting fight, because, you know, it was only Water-type Pokemon, and that was a pretty fun time to watch. I also was watching Misty versus his random trainer and she she had a Corsola and the, the trainer had a cool fish. I'm not gonna lie, that battle was really epic to personally to me. Again it may not be epic to some of you guys, but to me I think it was a pretty amazing battle, I'm not gonna lie. Like the uh like the back and forth between both both of the water type Pokemon were amazing. And I again I love water type Pokemon. I really do think they're amazing. I really just enjoy using water type Pokemon and hopefully we can get one on our adventure but um back to what I was saying um I I don't know I really adore them I just I don't know why I I can't really explain it I just really love water type Pokemon I think they're majestically cool and I just I I don't know I really can't tell you in, in a definitive reason why I like water type Pokemon ah moon no so um yeah uh, oh, we got the burn. Moon's gonna... Uh, moon? Go for the pound? Not gonna do a lot of damage to the Starmie. I'm kinda worried. I really am kinda worried now, because Starmie is a pretty strong Pokemon. But uh, hopefully Kuga can handle himself in this fight. Again, we can all we can do some training, so that's not gonna be a big deal. But I am still kind of worried. Let's go for a nice thunder shot. It did decent damage. We got the paralysis. That's awesome. It's gonna go for Scald. Oh, yeah, we gotta do training. That's not fun. <laughs> I I really don't wanna do training. Okay. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. Always that one gym battle we gotta lose. Okay. Well, Misty, you beat me this time. It was It's kind of like the Whitney scenario, you know, where we lost to Whitney in Pokemon Crystal? It's kind of like that scenario. But hey, it's fine. It is totally fine. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, next time, I suppose, because I guess I gotta do some training, we'll make our way on over to the route above. I'm gonna try and do some training and get Kuga up to at least level 17, level 18, and get Moon up to level... 15, 16, around there. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm not gonna really count on it. I just got back and I don't know. It feels weird recording after a couple of days. But um, yeah, next time we'll head up to the root above and we will get some training them that way. I'll also do some training off screen and hopefully we should be good. If you guys enjoyed today's episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate that. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Again, if my voice does sound a bit different, it's because I'm recovering. Anyways, I'll catch you all in the next episode. Have a good one. We are connected now. I love water type Pokemon.